guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called High Low Lux and I focus on luxury beauty, fashion, and travel. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we are doing my July faves and fails. So you guys really liked this idea last month. So I'm sharing my favorite products that I used in July and also some products that let me down, just did not live up to my expectations. And again, like last month, I have a wide range of items. I got some fashion, some beauty, some skincare, some food, um, yeah. All, all kinds of things. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Okay. We are going to start with the faves, of course. And the first thing I want to share is makeup. And it is this uh, Sephora palette, Sephora Pro palette. And I'm obsessed. It is, I don't know if you would qualify it as just like, um, sorry, you can see everything <laughs> of just like a blush palette, but it has like highlights blush and it is just beautiful like the pigment is amazing um i believe it's like 60 dollars from sephora um i have it on today i have this shade glitz on the inner corner of my eyes and as a highlight today i contoured my cheeks with this dark color epic and then i contoured my nose with this like a slightly lighter shade um called jet setter and I'm obsessed. I've already used um, this shade LA as a highlight. It's really pretty. And I've used Premier, which is this middle color, um, as a blush the other day. So, so far I've gotten use out of almost every shade and I feel like that's a really good bang for your buck. So this is definitely a fave. Next up is lip gloss. Now I mentioned this Charlotte Tilbury Peachy Plump lip gloss last month. And what I've been doing is mixing it with this Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Heat. And it's kind of like an orange. I'll pop up a picture um, of what it looks like together, but I line my lips with just like a brown liner. I'll put this on and then I'll put the gloss on top. And it's really pretty, especially when you're doing like that summer golden glow. This is my go-to. Okay, next favorites. That's all I have for makeup for favorites. Um, next. I'm gonna do food because you guys seem to really like that. I um, mean, you know, if you watch my channel before, you know I recently um, did like a weight loss journey. So I'm trying to find um, really healthy snacks that are tasty because I like things that taste good. So I'm gonna share two snacks that I have been loving. The first is Planters Nutrition, the Omega-3 mix. It's cashews, walnuts, raisins, cinnamon, apple pieces major key with a touch of sea salt second major key um, and these are delicious so this is just my snack like if i'm hungry and it's like before dinner or there's still a couple hours till dinner um, also if i'm just starving um, when i first wake up and i try to intermittent fast but if i like just can't take it i'll eat some of these and they're very filling and it's healthy fat and it tastes really good it's it's a really good mix so love those and then the other tasty snack is this it's i don't know if it's too bright um it's called halo top it's ice cream and i eat this almost every night this is a protein ice cream so it has how much protein five grams of protein and this whole tube is 320 calories most times like a couple of scoops of regular ice cream is three to 400 calories. Um, a regular bowl of ice cream is probably half this, but this is really creamy and the closest I found to actual ice cream. That's like an ice cream alternative. So I really love this. I think this is the best flavor, mint chip, but the red velvet is really good too i think it's 380 so they range from 280 to 380 i think is the most for the red velvet but if you are on a weight loss journey or you're just looking for something that's a little better um, that you can still feel like is a treat i think this is a good option so that's it with food well for the faves <laughs> next up we will do some skincare okay for skincare the first thing i wanted to share is this elizabeth arden um it's called superstar skin renewal booster and I love this it's is a part of a new line and they sent this to me full disclosure but it's like a skin prep so you put this on like right after you wash your face you can put on any serum but if you put this on before like moisturizer or anything that you're like treating your skin with it's a booster so it's supposed to help it work better 
and this makes my skin feel like silk. It's the texture. I wish you could feel it. <laughs> it makes your skin feel like silk. Um, it has this little lock on the back so you can like open it and close it. You pump it out and it's just, oh my God. It's like, it really preps your skin for like whatever else you're gonna do to it. I feel, I feel like my makeup lays smoother when I put this on and then put on anything else. And I feel like my products sink in better and are, are working better. I've been using this for probably two weeks, so not the whole month of July, but I did wanna share it because this is the only thing in my skincare regimen um, that I've added this month that I really enjoy. So that's that. And then this isn't technically, I guess it kinda is skincare. Um, it's the way rose hair and body oil and i just have it in the like travel size um i think they have these like in the little line of sephora you know where they trap you and make you buy all the things um and it comes with a mousse and like a texture spray or something but this is the only thing i really liked out of the set but it smells so good and i've been using it a lot more than i thought i would i use it um like if i'm headed out and i just want like a little glow on my skin i'll kind of show you guys um, I will put this on now. This is not going to moisturize your skin. Well, especially not for me I have eczema and dry skin So I still put on lotion, but I'll put this on top and it'll just like make my legs kind of glisten So and then I'll put it on like my, my shoulders or my arms or anything that's like showing skin And then I also have put it in my hair Especially if like I feel like there's been like a lot of heat on it and I just want to kind of like revive it And I don't feel like washing it. Um, I'll put this on the ends. Um, so I really like it I, We use it for like back massages and I just used it a lot more than I anticipated so I wanted to share it and it smells oh, it smells so good like really so good go, go test this too <laughs> it's at Sephora okay next up I wanted to share a tech item and I'm actually using it so I can't show it but I saved the box to show and it is my new lens so for all of you bloggers um, photographers want to be photographers or getting into photography um, I'm no expert but I did do a good amount of research to land on this lens so this is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter um, lens with the f 1.8 stop and I've used it this is my first well, no, by the time you see this, I may have done my handbag collection video already. I'm not sure, um, but I've been filming on it and the quality is just night and day. So I film on a Canon T6i. It's just like a super standard, like I think like the most basic Canon camera. And I upgraded my lens from the kit lens to a 50 millimeter, which is a great first lens. And that's what I have been using. And then this was my most recent upgrade. And this just makes such a big difference. Um, people always say like, learn to use the camera as much as possible. And when you wanna upgrade, start with the lenses cause that makes more of a difference than the actual camera body. So that's what I did. Um, so I feel like this has made me feel like I have a brand new camera. Um, the lens was, I got it off Amazon, I'll link it below. I wanna say it was $700. So it actually costs more <laughs> than the camera. I think the camera with like, the bundle that I got was maybe $500. This was like two years ago. Um, but I know I'll get already the quality is an, is an improvement. And also I can put this lens on any other camera when I do upgrade. So it was a great investment, but I just wanted to share it with you. Hopefully you can see a difference, um, but I really love it. For me, it also helps with pictures because the 50 millimeter lens didn't zoom in or out. So we would have to, it was just a lot more work um, for my fiance when he takes my picture. So this makes it a little easier and the quality is better. And for video, it's night and day. So that is that. Next up, oh, I wanted to show a handbag. So you would have seen this in my handbag collection video. Oh, sorry. But this is one of my newest bags. It is from a brand called Angela Roy. And they did send this to me. They let me pick any bag on their site. And when I saw this one, I just knew it was exactly what I needed and what I was missing in my collection. I didn't have any plain black handbags with no hardware that I could kind of like wear with anything. And then I did add my Dior strap on it. I was also looking for a bag that I could put this on and like it wouldn't clash with the hardware and it would look really nice. Um, this is the inside, it's just simple. This is vegan leather and it's a great price point. I wanna say it's, I'll link it below. I wanna say it's 225, but I love the like Kelly style. 
Um, it doesn't have a pocket or anything in the back, but I love the size of it. It's like so small and dainty, but it fits a lot. I mean, you can look inside. It's trifold and it fits a ton of stuff. And it also comes with a thick strap, which I really like because it makes it like more edgy. This is the strap ooh, that it comes with. So it's a great length, like not too long. That really annoys me when straps are like all the way down to your knees. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share this. I'm sure I'll pop a picture of how I styled it on Instagram, but I'm really obsessed with this bag. So, and it feels like real leather. So also very impressive. Okay, I have two clothing items to show and then we'll be done with faves. So I wanted to show these dress pants, which I will put up a picture because this does them no justice. But these are my thrifted menswear pants and I cannot stop wearing these. Um, I am gonna do, you guys really like the thrifting videos and I have recently become a thrifter and I really enjoy it, but I cannot express like how much money this has saved me. Um, I have been looking for this style of pant forever and I almost bought some from the Frankie shop and they were like $200 and these were like, I don't know, $9.99. <laughs> and I didn't even have to get these altered, but I would have. So be open-minded. If you haven't watched my thrifting video, I'll link it up here with all of my tips. But these I just got in a, they're like a waist 30, which is pretty small for men. And with the belt, I've been able to just tighten them and make them work. And of course I'll put up pictures, but love these. And then I wanted to share swimwear because as I've been getting ready for vacation, uh, most of my swimwear is too big since I've lost weight. So I had to buy like a good amount. Like I literally had like two swimsuits out of the 20 that I have that fit. So I found this swimwear from ASOS and I'll try to pop up a picture of just me like trying it on because I don't think I'll be on vacation by the time this goes up. But um, thanks to my boo Monroe Steele, I'll link her channel below. Um, she tried these on on her stories and she said the fit was great and the quality was really good because these are like one size fits all so that was concerning to me and it's like a crinkle material um but they're so comfortable i actually got it in another color but i wanted to show you the bright because it's so pretty um, but it's a high cut um, and high waist bikini bottom and then you can pick different types of tops so um, the white i got the white color and just like a bandeau top and then i got this one which i actually prefer in like just this regular top i guess um but i really 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 like the fit and i'll show you what it looks like on but i wanted to share that and these are pretty affordable too i want to say like 15 dollars for the top and 15 dollars for the bottom so really love those and then oh sorry i have one last fave and this is a planner so if you don't know me i am a very planful person and i like to keep myself organized and stay on track and this is a planner by a black owned brand um, and it is one of my boos from instagram her name is alexa and she is the glamorous planning that's her brand um, i haven't started using this yet because it starts in august and we're in july but i just wanted to give you guys a glimpse i'll probably insert some pictures because it's just totally blown out but i love that every day kind of has like like when you look at the week at a glance you can put your goals for the week you can track your water um, if you're watching your weight or you just want to be mindful you can put your breakfast lunch and dinner and it has lots of spots like I, i'm a big list person so it has lots of spots to put like what you want to do for the day and little boxes that you can check everything off so i really like this she sent it to me and i'm just so proud of her so i wanted to show this as a fave because i can't wait to start using it so that that's all of our faves now it's time for the fails and I have a good amount of fails. So let's get into it. We will start with makeup fails. First is this little palette. It's by NYX and it's, I don't know what it's called actually. It just says Aqu Aquarius maybe? I don't know. I'll link it below if you want to test it out yourself. Um, but this is what it looks like and I was trying to just like try out some bright colors but the pigment in these is just like it's it's sad um that's on my finger and that's on my hand um but it's just they're very chalky and i just couldn't do anything with it so this was a disappointment um because this was kind of my first foray into like trying out some brighter colors so that that's a better view and i just really couldn't work with it so that's first up. Next is, oh, next is another NYX item. <laughs> and it is these um, Vivid Brights. 
I bought a bunch of these because I was very excited. It's just an eyeliner. And I have a lavender, a green, and an orange. Now, I'm still going to use these because I bought them. But um, you have to do a lot of work with them. One, I used this in my last makeup video. With, and I used the, the orange liner. And I had to put, like, no joke, probably five coats for it to, like, show up. And kind of, like, stay vivid. Which is, it's called Vivid Brights. <laughs> um, but it, like, dried down and kind of, like, almost disappeared. So that was a little disappointing. Um, I think it would be better if this was not a liquid and was probably a pencil. So next up is just a random item, but it is sunscreen from Trader Joe's. And you all know how much I love Trader Joe's. So this one hurt my heart and I thought like, you can't go wrong, they make everything good, right? Um, but this Trader Joe's Spray Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 is just not brown girl friendly. It, Literally, I used it over the weekend and when I got out of the pool, I like dried off and I wanted to reapply because, you know, you got to reapply every couple hours. Make sure you stay safe. And I sprayed this on and I was white. Like It was just like it was just a white cast all over my body. Um, so I like went to the shower and like just washed my body to like get that off and was like, okay, let me start over with like just a super fresh canvas. <laughs> and I came back out to the pool, sprayed it on again, and I was still white. So luckily my friend had another sunscreen and I used that. So I'll be continuing to test out sunscreens. If you know any that are spray-ons because I don't have time to be rubbing, you know, to the end of time. So if you know any that are brown girl friendly, that are sprays, let me know. So that is a fail. The next fail is a clothing item. And it is, I'll pop a picture obviously, but it is this Tibby blazer and this beautiful, I mean, oh, the color is gorgeous. Beautiful like aquamarine, seafoam green kind of color. And I bought this in Miami a few months ago, maybe back in February, I'm not sure. And it is a fail because of the wear and tear um, I've probably worn this twice and it in person, I'm sure it looks fine here in person. It looks like I've had it for two years. Um, I recently, I just picked it up from the dry cleaner because I've been trying to like revive it and make it look nice. Um, but it has like, you can see where it's been pressed. It's like, has these like white lines now and any mark that has ever gotten on it, which I've only worn it like two or three times, you can still see like it didn't get clean from cleaning it and um yeah just like overall wear and tear I mean, this blazer was 490 which is a fail in itself because I don't even wear color that much but the fact that it's not like I invest in blazers because I wear them so much and I knew I would you know I bring this out every summer but at this rate I probably won't be able to wear it after this summer. Like there's so many little stains all over it from just like the two times that I've worn it that by next summer, it's probably gonna be completely ruined. So definitely a fail. And I don't know if it's just the material, but huge, huge disappointment. Okay guys, that's it. Those are my July faves and fails. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lux and read my blog, hilolux.com. As always, thanks for stopping by. See ya.